What's up, my real fam? I am back with another video. I'm outside again, chilling again. It's cold. I'm at the glue wretch right now, but I don't care. I need to come out here and get some air, even though it's cold. It's like 40 something degrees. You know, it doesn't feel like it when you're, when you're in the sun. Oh, it's really cold when that wind blows. So, you know, when the wind blows, it feels really cold. So, I'm just glad the wind isn't blowing a whole lot right about now. Other than that, it's a beautiful day. The sun is just out completely. That's why I wore this cap on top of my hair thing because the sun was going to be straight in my eye, you know? So, yeah. But it's cold, and I don't feel the cold as much. You know, I dressed right. The middle of my body feels fine. My legs feel fine. Of course, the only thing that's ever cold is using my face and hands, but my face is honestly okay. My, fa my hands are cold, though. Um, I have gloves. But I was doing some things on my phone, taking pictures, and you know you can't really do shit on your phone with your gloves on. You just unfortunately can't. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to leave those off for a little minute. You know what I mean? So, yeah, there's that. So, I'm just walking in. All these gorgeous things. Look at that huge tree I was talking about last time. Oh my god, wow. It's the biggest tree over here. I hope they never cut it down. This is a really amazing tree. The birds keep landing on it. This is the biggest tree over here. It's probably the biggest tree in the whole entire complex because, you know, again, I don't live over here. I walked over here, but it's not too far. And I think this is the biggest tree in the place. The biggest tree I've seen in a good many. I love this tree. that weird person that loves the tree characters in movies like Pocahontas and the tree started talking Grandmother Willow I always loved her um I mean, everything like in Lord of the Rings when the Ents started talking the Ents came alive and you know walking talking trees I was like oh my god fascinating you know, I always have a thing for trees of course I do believe trees used to be alive and we used to be able to communicate with them some kind of way and i feel that connection still somewhat but i just like hanging out here because as much of a connection i have i don't want to lose it you know i don't want to ever lose it it's ridiculous that people don't have connections with nature anymore at least black people don't y'all remember that video i made well maybe two years ago called um black people don't fuck with the woods that's still true, of course. You don't know that. I don't know why every time you talk about being in the woods, as a black person, everyone's like, oh, get out the woods. You need to get out of there before you get snatched up. I'm like, oh, come on. There you go with the fear tactics again. Just because they programmed us through scary movies and through movies in general that black people shouldn't be in the woods doesn't mean we should keep doing that, you know? That fear came from slavery. If you really think about it, the fear of nature came through slavery because what were we doing in slavery when we tried to escape? We ran our asses in the woods. And a lot of times, once you get in, you ain't coming out. So I believe that's where it came from. This stigma of black people don't go in the woods, black people die in the woods, black people get in the woods, something gonna get you. If you're in a safe area and it's wide open and you know there's no wild animals and shit out there or no uh, anything, you know? 
It's all good. You know, this area is wide open. What the hell do I have to be scared of? This area is so wide open. You know, there's people around. I'm not, I'm not, not even a mile away from civilization. But, you know, people are still afraid of really venturing. I don't know if some people are just really afraid of what they're going to find if they venture too much. Or they just really, really just don't care. I mean, that's part of most people. Most black people don't really give a damn about venturing in the woods. But I'm going to keep saying it until the day I die. They need to, you know? You should pay more attention to nature. Nature is what keeps you alive. And we should not be afraid of the woods just because, ow. <laughs> As if on cue. <laughs> We should not be afraid of the woods just because of what slavery has done to us, just because of what media has said about it. Just because white people want to run us out of the woods and say, oh, you don't belong here. You don't belong in the woods. You don't belong with the trees. You don't belong with Mother Nature. What the fuck? Who are you? How are you going to tell me where I belong? Mm-mm. That ain't going to work. able to um get around more i would definitely be that person who's at a nature trail like every damn day hiking somewhere hiking through the woods i know a gorgeous nature trail about 20 minutes away from here i love that park it's huge it has like huge walking trails and everything it even has a waterfall gorgeous y'all like absolutely gorgeous i just love going up there so far i think i've been there only three times and I love it each and every time I go. There's just nothing to be out here in the woods or at the forest, rather. You get a great connection being out here. I want to say it's nothing. I'm like, mm -mm, I beg for differ. You do really do feel something out here. If you start meditating and you pay attention to it, if you don't ignore it, I'm sure you will. But yeah, just think about that. If you have a hatred for nature, think about why. You know, perhaps you grew up in an area where your parents never cared. My parents didn't really care much. Perhaps you grew up in an area where nobody around you really respected nature. You know, you saw people litter. People always litter and talk about animals, kick animals around, perhaps abuse them. You know, just trash the place. Just trash the whole earth that we're supposed to keep between. supposed to be. If you really want to change that, you can. You actually can. You just have to look inside yourself. And start spending time in nature. It'll come back to you. The more time you spend in nature, all that stuff will go away. I promise you it will because y'all don't know what y'all missing. never any peace that comes from being out here. Y'all don't know. Oh yeah. But my hands are freezing away, so I'm gonna put this phone back in my pocket and continue my walk. Cause my hand, again, my hands are always gonna cold. Let me put my gloves back on. So, yeah. Um, let me know if you like this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Well, comment down below. Y'all know what I mean. Don't forget this give tip. Don't forget to give this video a like and let me know if you want more nature videos. Do you guys like these nature videos or are you being kind of bored of them? Let me know. I need some feedback on that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day today. And I hope you continue to have a great day. Thank you for watching.